Disappears and Futurix still work in 2023? Bella, you think it's still working? Well, we're about to find out. In this video, I will take you step by step on how to do the Pearson V trick. Without further ado, let's get started. What I'm going to type in your search bar is pearsonview.com. Then when you get to Pearson View, you can type your NCLUX here, NCLUX and CSBN. And then you're going to select register now. This is only for first time test takers. If you already have a Pearson View account, you still sign in. I am going to sign in here. What I have learned from the past is that a gift card works better. So I have a gift card. A gift card works better. It is more accurate. Additionally, I want to say that if you get the bad pop-up, the bad pop-up is only about 85% accurate. The good pop-up is pretty much fail-proof. The reason why the bad pop-up is not 100% accurate is because this test gets reviewed twice. So it's possible that if you get the bad pop-up, someone else is going to review your test and then they decide that you actually passed. But if you get the good pop-up, you pass on the first try and then they review it again, but you passed. So again, the bad pop-up is only about 85% accurate. So if you do get the bad pop-up, please don't freak out. I'm going to select start the registration process. Oh, the other thing that I um, wanted to mention is that this works best in a Chrome browser, whereas it doesn't work with Safari. So if you have a Mac, I recommend Google Chrome. I am seeking licensure registration in the US. Select the nursing program from which you graduated. So I'm going to select the program from which I graduated. Once you put in the country, Florida, Orlando, you click search, and then it's going to pull up nursing programs. So um, you put the year you graduated, and select the nursing regulatory body from which you were seeking licensure. I put Florida and then I select next. Agree. It's telling me that this is going to be $200. This is where you put in your information. So again, I'm using a gift card. Like I said, a gift card is more accurate. If you don't have a gift card, you may use a credit card. You can use the CVV. You could put in an incorrect CVV code, which is the numbers on the back or an incorrect expiration. But again, I would recommend using a gift card. You can also put an incorrect address um, if you choose to do so. But again, if there's too many, sometimes the credit card will reject the charge if you put in like the incorrect CVV and then you don't know if you got the good pop-up or the bad pop-up because the cr credit card is actually rejecting the charge from even going through. So it's not working. So again, that's why I would say just get yourself a gift card even if it has $10 on it and that way it's more accurate. I filled out everything accurately because I have passed the end clocks and I believe in this trick. Um, but let me actually change the security code to something inaccurate. So I just changed the security code to something inaccurate. You're going to submit the order. And then, so I did put an incorrect CVV code and it still worked. So Pearson Butrix still works. This is what you want to get. Our records indicate that you have recently scheduled this exam and another registration cannot be made at this time. So if you got this pop-up, congratulations, you passed. If you got the pop-up that says, our, um, it, like your results are currently on hold, that is neither good nor bad. It means that at this time, they don't know whether you passed or not and they're waiting on the second, like the second, review of your test to determine whether you passed or failed. So if it says, again, if it says your results are on hold, that's not good or bad, it's a neutral pop-up. If it charges you, that's a bad pop-up because it's saying that you can actually schedule another test. I am not going to submit an order because I already got the pop-up, so there's no point in continuing on. So yeah, it still works. Drop a comment below. Did you pass? Did it work for you? Keep me updated. I love to hear from you guys. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you turn on that notification bell. All right. Until next time.